see fate has brought us together. Shall we? Cao Cao takes the rank of Duke of Wei and succeeds in stabilizing his forces. He defeats Ma Chao of Guanzhong and strengthens his control of the North. While healing the damage taken at Chibi, he prepares for another campaign south. Elsewhere, Sun Quan forges an alliance with Liu Bei and waits for his chance to take the land. But their relations soon sour because of Liu Bei's possession of Jing, which Wu believes should have been theirs. Using Jing as a stepping stone, Liu Bei invades Liu Zhang's Bashu. With that success, he has finally obtained the country he has long searched for. In the north, Cao Cao. In the east, Sun Quan. In the south, Liu Bei. The world of the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu have been established. It has been a long while since I last walked with the mortals down here in this corrupt world. It seems things have changed dramatically. Zuo Tzu. He was a Taoist sorcerer who could perform amazing feats of magic. He lamented the constant chaos of the land and searched for somebody who could finally bring about peace. Looking for a hero to entrust the land to, Zuo Tse silently descended upon the battlefield. Liu Bei wishes to save this war-torn land by fighting to establish a land honoring the values of virtue and benevolence. Opposing him is the warlord Cao Cao. He is a man whose greatness can only shine in a time of chaos. It is clear which of these two has the qualifications necessary to lead the land to a brighter future. For the good of the land, I must stop Cao Cao's march to glory. I will see what can be done with the power of rhetoric firstly. But if he will not listen, then conflict will be unavoidable. mystic of some sort. What would someone like you want with me? Lord Cao Cao, have you ever considered leaving the world behind? Huh. Your purpose? This road that you have chosen is like the skin of that Nikon. It is merely the covering for the true fruit that lies within. <laughs> What a stupid thought. Next you'll tell me that Liu Bei, who's governed by his feelings, is more worthy of governing the land than I am. Of course. 
because it is virtue such as his that can fill people's hearts and bring true peace to the next generation. How about it, Cao Cao? If you leave this behind you, and yield the land to Liu Bei once and for all, I will bestow upon you the deepest secrets of the mystic. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I have absolutely no intention of walking the road of a mystic. <laughs> I will ask you one last time. What exactly are you? I am called Zhuo Tzu. Remember me as the one who supports Liu Bei and who is trying to do everything to divert your path. Then, let it all begin. Liu Bei, man of virtue and benevolence, why is it that you fight? Who are you, old man? Why is it you want to know my reasons for fighting? I sense that you do not like to bring pain and suffering to others. So, why is it that you initiate war yourself? I have decided that war is sometimes necessary if it can lead us to a land where everyone can be happy. I understand that my actions may sometimes bring suffering to the people, and that makes my heart heavy, but I must bear that burden and continue onwards. You are every bit the man of virtue. I had hoped you were. It is not desirable for a Taoist to involve himself in the petty affairs of mortal men. However, 
Something must be done to bring peace to this land. I will assist you until your star shines above this stormy land, Liu Bei. A Taoist? Who exactly are you? My name is Zhuo Tzu. I will give you a taste of what I am capable of by helping you repel Cao Cao from this land. Only one who walks the righteous path can bring an end to the chaos of war. In other words, Liu Bei is the only hope. For that reason, I will bring an end to Cao Cao's path of conquest. Mount Ding Jun will be his grave. Stop 
the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! We must stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! Simply do as the fates require of me. We have lost the supply depot. I can't face father like this. Cao Cao's son, Cao Zhang has retreated. The supply depot belongs to us. This will affect the morale of both sides. Shall we send messengers? Yes, we will send messengers at once. May my efforts bring... Hey, this is bad. Master Xiao Zheng has been defeated. <laughs> What did you just say? But there's a supply depot there. Leo Bay is quite crafty to cut our supply lines like that. So we simply need to match his craft with sheer will and determination. I am like an aimless butterfly with no place to go. No, I must be more like an angry hornet that has lost its nest. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. I've got some great stuff here. 
I appreciate your business. What can I get for you? Please, come again. Try and stop me, then you'll face my full strength. <laughs> Done for. I will keep this humiliation. <laughs> My efforts bring peace to the land. Out's out's way, aren't you? Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. We must break through Yong Ping Gate. No matter the cost, we must pay it. <laughs> Bring peace to the land.
shall not pass. I will slay every last one of you in order to avenge you in death. Show them just how badly outclassed they truly are. We are their superior in both numbers and skill. Now is the time for us to demonstrate our bravery. Everyone, advance! Play is strong! What is this raw energy? We can't hope to defeat this. Deeds follow. We can defeat the wave forces. Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. We're going to secure the area. Forgive me. I will not let my next chance to avenge you slip away. I attack that position. I attack that. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think any strategy could have saved us from such a defeat. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Fine work! You're not too shabby! <laughs> Got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Welcome, welcome. Please, come again. You are not a typical warrior. But I can see just how strong you really are. I will not hold anything back in this battle. I accept your challenge. I am more than familiar with the martial arts.
that your skills in battle. I eagerly look forward to our next encounter. I simply do as the fates require of me. Astounding job. You will be a valuable asset in battles to come. There isn't a mission I cannot accomplish. You are a truly amazing warrior. I will slay anyone foolish enough to stand in our Lord's path. Come and face Tao Cho if you dare. For the grand ambition of Master Liu Bei, not a board to lose. I will strike forth. Master Sao Hong has been defeated. What? Stop Does this mean we can no longer count on receiving reinforcements? <laughs> All units, halt! This is where we will make our stand! No one defending this position? Very well, we shall do it then. It is up to us to secure the area. Everybody, follow me! So this is the best I can do at this time. This is one bitter experience that I shall never forget. Bring peace to the land. What a striking figure. Well done. Prepare to die. I am here to claim your hands in the name of Shao Yuan. My lord, allow me to be the one to claim our revenge. I promise to deliver a beautiful victory for General Shao Yuan. <laughs> Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We are outnumbered. However, we must not let that deter us. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! in battles to come. <laughs> 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 
me to retreat from a battle. Have you not realized yet, Cao Cao? The path of conquest is destined to be defeated by the way of righteousness. I have aided the cause of virtue, but I must continue to keep a close eye on Cao Cao's movements. Good. We sure showed way what we're made of. I mean, South Tsao did get away in the end, but that guy must have made a pact with the devil or something. Master Zhang Fei, we must be satisfied with the fact that we have kept Hong Zhang safe. Yes. We have protected this land from Cao Tsao's ravenous clutches. That is more than enough. I am most grateful to you all for the courage and determination you showed. Come, we must return to Chengdu. You're satisfied with this. I would have preferred to see Cao Cao's head on a stick. It would have been only fair payback for what he's done. This is the ideal outcome for us. We cannot afford to disrupt the delicate three-way balance of power just yet. Besides which, we did not need to slay Cao Cao. Sooner or later... You think his time will come? That, I cannot say. Only the heavens know what fate has in store for any man. Come. We must follow on. I have a few matters regarding the governance of Han Zhong, which I wish to talk to you about. Why is it that I always feel like you're hiding something? Still, I'm happy to help you in whatever way I can.
We've claimed territory from Wei, and now we've repelled their colossal army. The world knows all about the strength of Shu now, right, Father? Absolutely. There's no one who can stop us now. And you're really starting to look the part of a great leader too, brother. I'm no great leader. It's you who are supporting me through this. I couldn't do it without you. No. You are more than worthy of being considered king of our land, my lord. In fact, I heartily recommend that you take this opportunity to declare yourself king of Hanjong to the entire land. King of Hanjong? It is a way for us to show to the people of our land and to those in the other kingdoms that we are a force at least equal in scale to Wei and Wu. The land has been divided in three. Our next step is to gradually expand Master Liu Bei's influence so that his vision dominates the land as a whole. King of Hanjong. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, I guess that'd make me a prince then, huh? And we'd be in the king's loyal retainers. I feel like I'm going up in the world. Remember, brother didn't become king so we could go around boasting about our new ranks. It's all to help as many people as possible. We can't forget that. There's one other thing that we mustn't forget. As Master Jugo Leon said, the land has now been divided in three. In other words, we are now ready to join forces with Wu and fight against Wei. Yes, I remember the plan. There was a certain amount of disagreement with Master Sun Quan over the land of Xing province, but that will shortly be solved. Soon, I intend to return the two remaining counties of Jing province to Wu as well. Wait, just a minute! We won that land fair and square! Besides, what's gonna happen to Guan Yu? Jin province has served dual purposes as a foothold to claim Yi province and to keep Wei at bay. Now that we have secured Yi province and solidified our territorial base, its only function is to keep Wei in check. If we claim Shun Un, then it will not be needed for that either. And if that happens, Master Guan Yu's task will be complete and he can return to Chengdu. The three of you will be together again. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah, when you put it like that, it does. Ever since that day in the Peach Garden, we've shared our burden between the three of us. It is always unpleasant to be apart. We must do all that we can to ensure our reunion happens sooner rather than later. <laughs>